Welcome back VDiscovery viewers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate custom hash value using Batch Guru. Now, why would you generate custom hash values? Well, we do it all the time for custom deduplication. Some companies call it metadata matching, where they take certain metadata fields and compare them to one another to improve accuracy of deduplication. Since we can't just take metadata fields and compare them one to another exactly, we have to generate hash values based on certain metadata fields that we would like to use for comparison. And this is a perfect use for Batch Guru. Let me take you to our computer screen and show you how we can use Batch Guru to generate hash values. In this saved search, I have my control number, email from to NCC, and I have an empty field called BG Custom MD5. This is where we're going to store our newly generated hash value. I'm going to go to a drop down of Batch Guru and I'm going to select MD5 hash generator. Now I'm going to configure a batch that generates hash values. I'm going to give it a name as well as a data source of the saved search that we just looked at. I'm also going to pick which fields I want to use for deduplication. In my case, I'm going to use from to NCC just as an example. In the real world, you would use more fields than this. And finally, I'm going to select which field I'm going to save my hash values to. I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to run batch. I'm going to back to documents tab and I'll see if I have my hash values. And there they are. I have a custom MD5 hash value generated based on these three fields on the screen. Now that I have my hash value saved in the field, I can use relativity scripts to perform custom deduplication using that hash value. Now, this is a quick example of how hash value can be generated based on certain metadata fields. The real world use of this tool is a little bit more complex where we generate hash values, we run the duplication, and we examine the results and see if we are getting the results we're looking for. If we do not, we choose different metadata fields, regenerate the hash values, and rerun the duplication again until our client is happy with the results. And that is how easy it is to generate hash value based on metadata fields you're looking for. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to follow VDiscovery on social media networks listed on your screen. And for previous videos, check us out on YouTube.